Hey guys, it's General Heat here. How's everyone doing today? So, on this fine Saturday, we are going to be tackling the mystery of the Spec Ops Ultra Grunt in Halo 2. Or rather, in Halo 2 Anniversary. Because this is something that people probably never noticed before in Halo 2 Classic. Because, well, it never... Because you, you literally can't notice it. But, uh, so, on towards the middle of the mission, uh, the Oracle, you come to this part where you're at this bridge here, there's a lot of flood here, you gotta clear them out. And if you wait long enough, you will get reinforcements from a phantom here where they drop off a couple elites and a couple grunts. Now, the two grunts it drops off are pretty unique. Well, first, one is Spec Ops grunt, which is like one of the best grunts possible. And the other one is an Ultra grunt. But, first of all, this is what a Spec Ops grunt looks like in Classic. And then this is an Ultra grunt. But something is odd about this Ultra grunt here. See, in classic graphics, it's definitely like a correct Ultra Grunt. It, you know, it's the white variant, it's got the white armor and everything, nothing's off about it. And then the Spec Ops Grunt here is also correct. It's got the uh, purplish black armor, you know, all fine. And you, you can see, like in anniversary graphics, Spec Ops Grunts also have the two spikes on its back uh, instead of like the pointy part. However, the issue here, and this is something that you would never have noticed in Classic Halo 2 unless you play MCC is that while this is a correct Ultra Grunt in Classic Graphics, when you switch to Anniversary, that is not what an Ultra Grunt looks like in Halo 2 Anniversary Graphics. So for reference, this is a Classic Graphics Ultra Grunt. That's correct. And this is a correct Ultra Grunt in Halo 2 Anniversary. Notice the back. It's got that curved back instead of the, uh, the two uh, spiky backs. And then this is the Spec Ops Grunt. You know, in Classic, perfectly fine, no issues. And then in Anniversary Graphics, Spec Ops Grunts have those two spikes on it, uh, on the back. So that's how you can tell the difference. However, this Ultra Grunt here, while it has the correct armor color in both Classic and Anniversary Graphics, its armor is incorrect. It's an Ultra Grunt with the Spec Ops back, and a white colored Spec Ops back as well. So, what is going on here? Why, uh, why is this happening? Some people actually brought this up recently and have been asking me to tackle it for quite a while. And some people think it's an easter egg and then, you know, more recently people are thinking it's a uh, typo because, you know, I've been doing a couple videos with the uh, Honor Guard Counselor and the uh, Tartarus Captain Brute lately. So what is it really? Well, once again, let's go into assembly to take a look at the game file where it's being spawned exactly. So this is where it's being spawned and it's the squad it spawned in has two characters and the two grunts are being spawned which you can see up there i've highlighted it there's two char two people in the squad one is a spec ops crz that's one variant of the grunt being spawned that is correct that's fine the other is a spec ops underscore dog variant of the grunt this variant does not exist for grunts at all so here are all the variants, at least on this mission, for Grunts. Starting with the Miner, there's 9 different variants. Uh, and then, uh, 10 different variants I think, actually. No, my bad, 9. And then, um, you can see all the uh, variants here. There's, uh, there's only 2 Spec Ops variants. Spec Ops underscore CRZ, which was correct, and Spec Ops underscore DOP. Which leads me to believe that the Grunt being spawned here is a typo again. Because Spec Ops underscore DOP, that's the correct one, but they typed Spec Ops underscore DOG. So it's like one letter off from the correct one. Uh, they might have been thinking of like a different variant for like another character, like the, uh, the Elite underscore Dogs. But they must have typed in, uh, or, or maybe, you know, they, they were trying to type in DOP, but then they typed Dog by accident. So just to prove to you what happens if you had the wrong variant again, by default, Grunts spawn as minor Grunts. And then if I set it to spawn the uh, Spec Ops underscore CRZ, this is the correct variant it's spawning. And then here if I spawn the uh, Spec Ops underscore DOG, then it spawns the Ultra Grunts. So the weird thing is that normally with like Marines, Brutes, and Elites, if you spawn one with a variant that doesn't exist for it, it just randomizes the armor. Uh, we've seen that with all the other characters so far. Um, but here with Grunts, it, for some reason, does not seem to randomize it. it. It spawns them as like Ultra Grunts by default when you have an incorrect variant. Like, even if I give it a Jackal shield here, it will still spawn the same thing, which I'll show you in a second. 
But what I'm thinking is that in classic at least, the grunts don't have like too many pieces, and I guess the white color is like a default armor color for grunts. So that's why it it always defaults to uh, the ultra, even when you use like a totally like non grunt variant, like the jackal variant for the grunt, it still spawns the ultra grunts. Which I think is the, it's technically still randomizing it, but because it's like the only option available, it randomizes the same thing every time. So yeah, now I can't show you that in anniversary graphics because there's no mod tools for uh, Halo 2 anniversary yet that I can use. So, but I can tell you that if there was mod tools and I spawned the same thing again, it would be the exact same um, Spec Ops Ultra Grunt being spawned. Um, so. You know, the uh, on Halopedia, they, they list that Spec Ops Ultra Grunt as like a, another variant of it in Halo 2 Anniversary, like an official variant, but that's actually incorrect. It's it's a glitch, or it's it's both an oversight and a glitch. Uh, it's probably like some developer typo, or they typed the wrong variant by accident. You know, I think they're going for like Spec Ops underscore DLP, or maybe they got mixed up with an Elite variant, and that's how this happened. And it spawned this, because, you know, that's how the game handles like incorrect variants in Halo 2. But it is not an official variant. It is definitely uh, another bug slash oversight. Pretty much in the same category as the uh, Honor Guard Counselor Elite and the Tartarus Captain Brute. So yeah, there you have it. That is why the Spec Ops Ultra Grunt exists in Halo 2 Anniversary. Uh, because I guess in Anniversary there's more pieces available to the Grunt that don't exist in uh, Classic. So that's why in Anniversary it can, it can randomize it a little bit more, but it likely still ends up as overall the same but that that is probably like why it's happening in anniversary graphics but um, otherwise it's you know technically the same glitch as the honor guard counselor and the Tartarus captain brute <laughs> but yeah so hopefully you guys found this to be interesting and you know uh, if you guys did enjoy this video as always make sure to leave a like I'll leave your thoughts and comments if anything else you to check out just let me know and I'll do my best to look into it but other than that make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you all next time bye guys